I'll be here and tell you the whole list. No, yeah, you just hold it or set it on the table right there. That's all right. Okay, we're here with Larry Spahn. We're at Big Brutus. This is the Miners Reunion 2023. How you doing, Larry? Pretty good. Well, what do you what do you, can you tell us about uh, your time here uh, working for at Big Brutus and? Well, I started here in 1969. I was probably one of the younger guys. Everybody out here. Wait a minute. I think I forgot to turn this on. No, I turned it on. All right, go ahead. Can All you right. can you edit edit that out? No, I'm not editing nothing. When they say <laughs> Chow's on, I'm leaving. <laughs> So you started when? 1969? 1969. I stayed here until 1974 when they shut it down. I worked as an electrician on third shift with Albert Holheisel. We did a lot of cable changes, maintenance, whatever needed to be done on all the machines that was working. This mine worked seven days a week. It didn't shut down except for miners' holidays. It was something major was broken. All right. I remember coming to work one night and that point shift was laying on the coal. The uh, axle broke and it fell down and had all the hoist cables tangled up. Oh my. And they had a uh, Belger crane out there the next morning. Within a week they were back in operation. What happened that it all fell apart? Well, they just, whatever, it, the axle broke. There's a trunnion in between those shims. There's oh, two okay. of them up there. And it just broke and it fell out. Oh, okay. A lot of things happen out here, and it was a big way. A lot of a lot of people got right to work when they needed to. Now you told me a story. You said that uh, you got to haul one bucket of soil out of the pit with Big Rudy. Yes, I did. Larry Foster, he was a swing shift guy. And we was getting towards the end. Uh, we got the word that the mine was shutting down, and he just said, "You want to take a bucket out to tell the grandkids?" And I said, "Yeah, I'll give it a shot." So he stood right beside me, and I've watched those operators run so much that I didn't have any problem with it. He said, hey, you've done this before. And I said, no, I haven't. Does you want to take any more out? So no. It's kind of like shooting at something. You hit it the first time, you lay the gun down and go. So I, you know, and I still think about it, but it had a lot of power. It's more impressive when it was swinging back and forth in and out of the pit. He'd be in and out of the pit in, less than, uh, in a minute with probably 100, 105 yards of dirt with it. Well, I know I don't say it, Larry, and uh, I ain't going to say it again, but here it is. You've been showing me around southeast Kansas and showing me all about the trains and the mines and all the stuff that was and is and never will be, but I really appreciate it, the way you showed me around this part of the country and let me know what's going on. I appreciate it, buddy. Well, I'm happy to do it, and uh, I think that this is two characters that could probably get along together. <laughs> Nobody else would. Well, we have a lot of that. We're both old Navy guys, and we, we, uh, we talk like sailors when we're together. Yeah, yeah, you can't be around mixed company. <laughs> Not quite ready for prime time. No. Thank you, Larry. You're welcome, and keep up the good work, and hey, Check out the videos. <laughs> Easy day.